What is the best enchant for you? Everyone has different opinions on the best weapon enchant, and it all depends on their playstyle. This video will help you find your perfect weapon enchant. Out of these four concepts, which should you rather have as a weapon enchant? A weapon enchant that gives you higher damage, a weapon enchant that gives you higher attack speed to be used as a combo starter, a weapon enchant that disorients the opponent and changes your playstyle, or a weapon enchant that can let you sustain. Now, with these concepts in mind, I'll go through each enchant and explain the ranking. Go to the time stop on the screen to see the final chart. So, starting off with Grim. Grim is a damage booster because it'll only help you get damage. You could somewhat say that it's a bit disorienting because when the Grim procs, it forces him to back away. Most players, they don't even care. They'll just fight the Grim anyways. So, for this, Grim is going to be in the damage section because it is only used to boost damage. Stone is going to be disorienting because if you're against someone who holds block a lot, it's going to change how they play because you're going to learn very quickly that if you hold F, you're going to lose the match very quickly. So for that, it's disorienting. Bloodony is going to be disorienting because it's going to change how they play. If they get hit too much, you're gonna, they're going to have to back away, eat some food, and in that time, you maybe get some hits off. But it does change how they play, so disorienting, especially in water as well. Storm is going to be disorienting. You could say it is a damage boost, but that's only in the rain and that's too specific. But it's definitely disorienting, especially with the lightning talents that increase the stun, because the stun is disorienting. It changes a bit how they play, because when they might want to roll, they just can't do that, and you're going to have to just only try to parry and not roll anything. Here, a worse version of Gluttony, but it's going to be disorienting as it is basically the same thing as Seer. It forces them to get water, and if they don't, they're going to have a blurry screen, which is going to make it harder for them to play. Umbral Knight is just a damage booster, nothing else. It's a bit disorienting with the after slash, but it's very quick and not like Prof Sorn, so normally you're just getting hit, you're going to accidentally parry it, but it's just a damage booster. Providence Sorns is a disorienter because when you get parried, you're going to have to wait for that slash. So sometimes if you're against someone who can't really fight Prof Sorns, you're going to back away and hold F to block that slash, and you're going to have to play around to make sure you don't parry them, because each time you parry them, you're going to make it a lot harder for them to play. Which is generally just disorients the opponent. The nation is just a straight damage booster. Wild is just a damage booster. Heroism is a damage booster. All these enchants, they just simply boost your damage. They don't do anything else, but just find a way to boost damage. Yunshul is again a damage booster, although low chance. Deferred is just a 10% damage increase, so it is a damage booster. Metal is a damage booster. It does not boost damage right away, but it aims to boost damage after a few hits. Whether you get the metal, whether you get their armor off or not, it works by just boosting damage because it does not change how they play. Because if your metal is gone in a fight, there's not much you could do except keep fighting. It doesn't really calm make sense, so we would go into the damage category. Bloodthirsty is again a damage booster. It can be a bit disorienting when you see your blood is low and you have to get food, but it just doesn't work unless you're an okay or a dagger bloodthirsty. Because in most scenarios, if you're any bloodthirsty weapon that's not a dagger, you're killing them before their blood reaches zero, anyways. Obfuscation is for combos, has insane attack speed, and it just lets you get combos off a lot easier with flourish talents like Bulldozer and just Moosecking in general. No Life King is doesn't go into damage, combo, or disorient. It only works to help you sustain because it gives you insane amounts of healing. You can see the sanity it gives per M1 could be in disorient, but most of the time the issue of NLK is the issue, but the benefit of NLK is for its healing, not the way it gives insanity per M1. Vampirism, just like NLK, is used to sustain when you health back per M1. There's no damage boost, no combo. It doesn't change if they play at all. Now, Elastic is going to go into combo because you can combo really, really well with Elastic. One hit and they're forced to you. Then you could go into a lot of moves that require you to be up close and it's a lot easier to hit, especially with short ranged uh, weapons that you use. But it's also very disorienting to play against. When you're playing against something like Elastic Dagger or Elastic Fist, it's incredibly, incredibly hard to get them off you if you're not something like bounce or something like that and even then you'll still be pulled towards them so it's definitely very disorienting to play against something like chilling yeah bro I'll post the clips from zone yeah, post the clip okay. i'm gonna do a pull okay, it is also very good for combos because once you hit that chill basically chill for like two to three seconds so you see this you can start off with a nice mantra combo of some sort like a free strong life, rapid slashes, to like a revenge, anything like that. Like chilling just lets you do that for free by just M1 in your defense. And it's very disorienting as well. When you get frozen, you have to spam F on your keyboard. 
when you're spamming F, you're gonna miss that parry right after. You're gonna fail parry, and it's just very disorienting to play against. Like, not fun. Now, there's three blazings here because blazing is very good. Blazing goes into the damage category because it's free damage. You hit them, they're on fire. They have to roll, and if they're in that time, they're not rolling. They're taking extra damage. You got a deep fire. They're taking even more damage. It's good for combos. Most people use blazing. They've always been flame charmers. Even if you're not a flame charmer, it's still good. But it's good for combos because all those flaming talents. They just get on fire, now they're suddenly exploding like everywhere and they're just going crazy, their health's going down. Just really good for combos and even if you're not blazing, sorry, even if you're not flame charmer as well, you're still doing insane amounts of damage and you're going to get some good combos off because you're forcing them to roll so that maybe going for revenge or I mean just a lot of moves could force them to roll. So generally it's just good for combos, like it's just good, like, hey, blazing is just so good. Now it's also very disorienting because it changes how they play, they're forced roll like they have to roll if they don't roll then they're just gonna be on fire so you force them to roll same thing like combo have to roll so you can go in with whatever combo you like to do so this is the definitive tier list for enchants and these are each of their sections now what is the best enchant for their section hard to decide but something like the damage section this can be decided very easily since a lot of them are just worse than others it really does depend on the weapon it's on all right, so hopefully this video helped you out and helped you find the enchant that would be best for your build. And if you need help figuring out, you know, what's the best damage boost for enchant, well, let me know in the comments section down below and I'll make a video on what's the best damage boost in enchant. Certainly, it's not heroism and it's not Yenchil either. I've tested it. But be sure to like and subscribe for more Devil videos in the future and be sure to check out my gank videos as well. Join the Lancelot Discord to ask me any questions. I'll see you guys next time.